morning power farm. Look. It's snowing really bad. Do you know what's hilarious though? Let me just show you the chicken footprints. How funny is that? There's only one chicken out at the moment. I hope the others are all right. I'm gonna feed this lady and go and check on the others. Okay, we have four chickens, which is good. Are you cold, mate? <laughs> Those two are huddled under there, don't blame them. Let's see if there's any eggs. I really need to get them some hay today if I can. <gasps> Lots of eggs, is four. Yeah, so the kids still at their Auntie Emma's. Um, my grandma was coming down and bringing them back, but nobody wants to go out in this, so hopefully Emma can bring the kids back. If not, me and Neil will have to adventure out and fetch them. Let me just help the dog back in. Oh, yeah. Ow. Horrible stuff. So, today I think it's probably going to be a crafty movie kind of day. Like I said, we'll be doing our favourite 12 Christmas films countdown. So, let me get some coffee in me and we'll crack on with that. Hey guys! So, yeah, like I said this morning, it's Vlogmas Day 10 and today I am going to do the top 12 Christmas videos ready for when it's the 12th so you can watch one every single night up until Christmas so I'm gonna rattle through them because there is 12 so let's get going number 12 is the Santa Claus I really like this film It's quite funny I think we're gonna actually watch it tonight so the um, quick basic storyline is Tim Allen is in the film and he accidentally um, knocks Santa off the roof and he ends up having to take the place of Santa and he kind of becomes Santa. Um, it's a really fun film, so go check that one out. Number two is The Muppets Christmas Carol. You've got to watch some form of Christmas Carol when it's Christmas time and that one's a really, really good one. Um, loads of the Muppet characters in it so the kids really enjoy it too, so check that one out as well. Okay, number 10. Did I say 11 for the last one? Anyway, number 10 is Gremlins. I haven't let the kids watch Gremlins yet, so I wasn't sure if they'd be afraid of the, um, Gremlins. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this boy gets a little mogwai, and he's really, really cute, but then they've got rules that you can't get wet, you can't feed them after midnight, and there is another one, and I forget what it is. Um, if you remember what it is, comment below and let me know. Um, so, these things happen, Gremlins appear, they are mischievous, they wreak havoc. It's a brilliant film. Okay, number nine. Not many people mention this one, but I really like this one, and that's Jingle All The Way with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Um, he basically forgets to get his son the like number one top toy that Christmas, and he can't find it in any shop anywhere, and it's basically just a fun film on him trying to fulfil his son's Christmas wishes. Um, it's really fun, so check that one out. Number eight, I'm not sure if this is a Christmassy film, but it's got snow and it's kind of set in a Christmas time sort of thing, but it's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Either the old kids cartoon version or the newer uh, blockbuster one, either one, they're both great. Um, yeah, there is Christmas in it because the Snow Queen, she like makes it always winter but never Christmas and then there's the four kids, the two girls, the two boys and they have to go and stop the Queen with the help of Aslan the Lion. It's just a brilliant fantasy film for kids and my, well especially Emily, she loves it. So that one. Now number seven, we've watched this today. Christmas film, Halloween film, Christmas film, Halloween film, both I think. So you must know what I'm talking about, it is The Nightmare Before Christmas, amazing film, uh, like it's just, it's brilliant. Totally, totally go watch that. Okay, so we're rattling through these. Number six, Home Alone. It's not Christmas unless you've watched Home Alone. It's brilliant. The first one, I like the second one. The, the, after that it just gets daft, you know. I don't think I've, I think I've seen the third one like once, but yeah, the first two are good. So Home Alone, I think, yeah, after that you can't leave your kid that many times without you know, getting locked up really, can you? So. <laughs> Yeah, home alone, the parents accidentally leave the kid when they go on holiday, he's home alone, burglars get in and he 
sets up loads of hilarious traps to stop them burgling his house and it's really really funny and the kids love it so number five the snowman we're walking in the earth there you go that's my rendition <laughs> um it's just a lovely cozy christmas film especially like today when it's it's snowing in the uk at the moment so it'd be really cool to actually watch that later and you know look out the window and see the snow um but not have to go out in it because i hate snow i hate it but yeah it's a really nice film um they brought out a new one not long back the snowman and the snow dog but that really upset charlie um he was very very sad so <laughs> but the snowman he likes that one so yes number four we watched a couple of days ago is the grinch the one with jim carrey in it it's just he, he's brilliant and my daughter really really loves Jim Carrey at the moment um, it's really funny obviously it's based on the Dr Seuss book and a great kids Christmas film go watch that too okay number three is my ultimate Christmas movie and it's not Christmas unless I've watched it I've watched this every Christmas Eve I think since I was born maybe and that is Santa Claus the movie there's only one Santa Claus for me and it's that man in that movie I absolutely love it. Dudley Moore's in it as well. Um, it's just a really great feel-good movie and I love it. So check that out. Number two is one of my favourite films as well and I think this is a really, really good film and it's The Polar Express. It's so beautifully done and it's amazing and I'm actually thinking of getting the kids a little bell each this year for their Christmas boxes. I think that'd be really, really cute. Um, it stars Tom Hanks and it's kind of animated kind of movie style it's really it's strange how they've done it but it's it's an amazing film so uh, definitely go and watch that it's about a big train called the polar express um and it takes kids to meet santa and it's it's brilliant it's really good and number one has to be elf doesn't it it has to be elf is amazing it's just one of the best christmas films the moment where he gets hit by that taxi i literally l m a o every single time it's brilliant the kids laugh their heads off at it will ferrell is amazing in it um it's great go watch it okay so that is my top 12 christmas films i have got some bonus ones and these are grown-up films so kids do not watch these films the first the first two maybe you might be able to watch them with parental supervision the third one no so the first one is the holiday um i really like this film it's really cute um, it might even be safe for children I'm not sure but I just I know they're not kids films so it goes on this bit um, the holiday basically a British woman an American woman they're fed up with their lives and they swap houses for the holiday season and it's a really cute Christmassy love story and it's it's just nice and cozy so yeah I like that one the next one's love actually I do know there's a little bit of swearing in love actually so um, that's why this is on the list but it's it's an it's brilliant love actually it's so heartwarming and really really funny um great british film um so go check that one out now this last one under no circumstances are your children to watch this film or the second one and that's bad santa one and two but seriously bad santa is my favorite 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 christmas film of all time i absolutely love it but you can't watch it with your kids but we watched bad santa 2 a couple of days ago hilarious absolutely hilarious again don't let your kids watch it but when they've gone to bed and you you want a christmas laugh billy bob thornton is amazing at playing bad santa so definitely check those films out so that's it um I'm going to leave the vlog here today. Um, I'm still recovering from uh, yesterday. You can see I'm in my bedroom. I'm just chilling. Uh, thank you so much for all the lovely comments on last night's vlog. Uh, it was scary, but it seems to have passed for now. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll stay away now until after Christmas and I won't get another big flare like that. But yeah, so... Have an awesome, awesome evening, guys, and we will see you bright and early tomorrow, if we've not been snowed in, <laughs> um, for Vlogmas Day 11. Whoa. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Three, two, one.